a lot of people want to go to church just to get a quickie psychic reading from Jesus. They pray, Jesus, tell me what's wrong with my life. And Jesus says, you're on the wrong track. And they say, wow, thanks. Then they go hire a lawyer to get them on the right track. Or they pay a therapist to listen to them. Or they enroll in a class. They take it into their own hands and they try to solve it with their own consultants. So they trust Jesus to give them the right answer, but then they don't trust Jesus to lead them to the right path to get that answer. And do you know why? It's because they want to delegate the work or pay someone to fix it. And I tell them, you can't pay God to fix it. You can only invite God to be your life partner and join you on your journey to true healing. God wants a relationship with you. And people who aren't willing to do the work, I feel like when they're praying, they want God to be their consultant, an employee or servant to problem solve and do work for them. They don't want God or a church to partner and co-create with them. God is in it for the partnership. And when they're praying incorrectly, they're in it to do it on their own. And when you're praying correctly, as soon as Jesus tells you you're on the wrong track, do you know what you do? You pause, you breathe, you take that in, and then you trust God. You trust what he said to you. And more importantly, you let God trust you. God can trust you enough to tell you the full truth and nothing but the truth. You have to be willing to let God trust you so that God can tell you the truth. And the moment you let God trust you, God will say, do you want to know what the right track is? And you say, yes. And then God shows you. And then you invite God. You say, well, will you walk with me to the new track? And then walk the walk with me? Like, can we get on the right track together as a team? The very first step you take on that track, God can deliver your miracle. Just by getting on the track, you don't even have to finish the first mile. Because God knows once he's on the track with you, you've already won. It's not the running and the chasing to achieve your goal. It's the track that you're on. You're either on the right track or the wrong track. So please write that in your journal. It's not how much I try or how much I pray. If I'm on the wrong track, I'll struggle. As soon as I get on the right track, my first step can deliver a miracle. I don't even have to finish the first mile. So I want to pause here to take a poll. Um, what, if you know this now, you might know it a little bit later in our session, but what track are you on? Like, are you on the money track where you want money? Are you on the family track where you just take care of your family? Are you on the life purpose track where you're seeking your life purpose? So what, what track do you think you're on right now? So just go ahead and unmute if you feel willing to share. Or at, well, we'll do one thing real, 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 real quick. We're just going to write in your journal. The track I'm on is, and then go ahead and write down your goal. Like the track I'm on is, is healing my lymphoma, increasing my income, making my movie, writing my book. Here I am. Okay, so the track I'm on is getting a job. The track I need to be on is doing God's work. Now, when God said that to me, I was like, I don't get it. How's that going to get me a job? 
doing God's work will get me a job. Applying for jobs won't actually get me a job. And I'm going to circle back around to this if you don't understand it now. So, okay, so here's here's someone else in our, our oops, here's someone else in our church. The track you're on is trying to make peace in your family. The track you need to be on is me time, selfishly making yourself happy. So how is that going to bring peace to your family? When you step out, Jesus steps in. Why? You are not qualified right now in this point in your life to be a peacemaker because look at you. You are strung out, you're burnt out, and you haven't really slept in six years. Look at Jesus. He's a fountain of peace. The guy sleeps 22 hours a day. He's very well rested. He just touches your family on the forehead. It's like spiritual Vicodin. They fall face down in peaceful slumber. He's a walking painkiller. Jesus is the peacemaker, not you. Okay, so here's another one of you from our church. The track you're on is praying that God shows you the right stocks to buy to make millions of dollars. The track you need to be on is realizing that you already have millions of dollars. You just want more. Why waste your prayers? Do you realize the value of your prayers? Praying is the most valuable asset, asset and valuable investment you could ever do. If you want more millions of dollars to add to the millions that you already have, then pray for something that money can never buy. Happiness for someone who's suffering, love for someone that you see is not loved, or hope for someone who's hopeless, or peace for someone who is in conflict, or help for someone who's helpless. Pray for people who have millions of dollars but you can see that they're so lonely that they have no friends. And when they get a friend, maybe you'll be that friend, and then they'll show you how to invest in the right stocks to make millions of dollars to add to your already existing millions of dollars. Your friends will get you there, not your greed. In your journal, write the track I need to be on is. Thank you.